Welcome to another day with Jesus. The power is where it's always been. The Word of God is alive. You are listening to challenging devotions and heart-inspiring conversations with Pastor Prigi and Rajmi Varghese. Visit www.pastorprigi.com for more resources. Good morning, friends. This day we will go into the fourth part of what are the things what are the ways in which we didn't we should not be praying the denots of praying number one was to not impress to to not pray with selfish ambition to not pray unscriptural requests today we're going to say the the fourth thing that we did not or should not be praying is is in a way that will we will push our will against god's will yesterday we know that we we should be praying god's will and this is how we know what god's will is it's revealed in the bible right the fourth thing is sometimes even after we know god's will we try to push our will through we want to see what we want to see with god and we try to push it with god and let me read a verse very very scary verse for you to remember um romans chapter 1 verse 24 It says so god abandon them to the to do whatever shameful things their hearts desired as a result they did wild and degrading things with each other's bodies what is this speaking about this context is of people ending up to ending up worshiping idols and you know of, of making images of things in the heavens and the in the earth and following after them and running after them and and ending up desiring for the wrong kind of things and and the bible says god says this is how god punished them not by sending a uh, fire from heaven like he did during Sodom and Gomorrah this time what he did was he just abandoned them to do whatever shameful things their hearts desired how crazy is that if god would send a prophet or if god would send fire or if god would send a warning like like he did to Nineveh uh, through Jonah then i have a chance of knowing that what i was doing was wrong here is what god says when you push for your will too hard when you're worshiping the wrong kind of things you know wrong prayers are always born out of us having a wrong god see if your god is jesus if you're worshiping jesus then your desire will be jesus but if your god is wealth then all that you will desire in your life will be wealth if your god is sets then all that you will desire for is sets that you want it in the marriage or outside the marriage or, or with a television screen or with you know kids wherever you can get you that, that that'll be your goal and and that is the problem where with with the church today the when when the church is praying and pushing for its own will the what we ha- what we often forget is that hey we are letting what we want to become our god you know and i pray and i hope and i desire that none of us will make that mistake friends none of us will make that mistake you know this last couple of months uh, i was uh, praying and wanting to buy a car and we were desperately trying to get a car loan and there came a point when uh, i was on the road the only thing i would be talking the only thing that i will be noticing is cars and and then i i said you know and, and we applied for the car loan and the car loan didn't come couple of times and uh, finally it did come through but for the first couple of times it didn't come through and we were very disappointed and through that the one thing that god taught me is that hey you cannot be so obsessed with your needs that your needs begin to rule the way that you live because every time i open my mouth i'll be speaking about cars any time that i uh look at uh, uh, something on the road i'll be you know immediately reminded of a car company or something that's all because there was a genuine need in our life we focus so much on that 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 began to uh, decide that began to become the image in our head and, and we had to repent of that sin i had to repent of that sin and and say god i will not let this need become the god in my life and and thankfully when you come back to god and when you make god the center of your worship 
man, your needs will be taken care of. You know, in a couple of weeks, we will have our car in our home and, and praise God for that. But see, you have to know when you should stop pushing your will upon God's. And when the moment you are pushing your will upon God, you are in very dangerous ground and you're in the, you're not just risking getting a wrong prayer answered you're risking idolatry what is idolatry your idolatry is when you begin to worship the wrong god <laughs> that's like the biggest the most uh, craziest sin that you and i can commit because if there's one commandment which is the greatest it's that you shall not have any other gods before me and we are in the danger of worshiping other gods we're in the danger of worshiping false gods and when we begin to worship those gods the bible says god will abandon us to whatever shameful things that our hearts desired i pray that that does not happen to me i hope and i desire and i believe that it will not happen with you because your eyes will remain fixed on jesus your greatest desire will be jesus you know like jesus prayed on the in the garden of gethsemane father i want that this cup should go away from me yet not my will let yours be done can that be the underscoring statement of every prayer that you make lord i want this particular thing i desire this thing but yet not my will only let your will be done i hope that you will take that seriously and put that into action in your life and your prayers today bless you guys